He never catches a hint, by the way. He'll just always come anyway. Uh, no matter how many times you send him off. He just eagerly awaits that one day where you buy another wooden stick. Okay. And the dog is barking. It was the first thing we did. Actually, I haven't talked about this yet, have I? There's one other really weird... I, I've just remembered this. I can't believe I'm... I've not spoke about this yet, haven't I? I'm sure you'll let me know. There's one other thing about the controls that is kind of fundamentally flawed in this game, okay? I'm going to push directly up on the anal on the control stick here, right? And I want you to watch very carefully how Seto moves, okay? Here we go. Do you see this? He is leaning ever, ever, ever so slightly to the right. It's like he's got one leg shorter than the other. Seto is constantly... If the terrain was big enough, and if, yeah, he'd basically be going about in a big circle. You see this, right? He's not moving in a straight line, even though I'm holding up. It's true. You don't believe me, do you? <sighs> okay. Um. Right, yeah, there's a there's roller coaster section over there. There's a Ferris wheel, and then there's another... That's not... That's the roller coaster section over there. What the hell's over here? Right, the ideal thing to do here is to find Crow in each of them. Ah, uh, yeah, this is the, um, sort of Ferris wheel section. Well, it connects to the Ferris wheel section, I should say. Oh! It broke! <laughs> Now it's giving us the tutorial about broken weapons, sorry. That's got to be a world record. How friggin' long that actually managed to survive this, our trusty wooden stick. Now I can equip the bamboo sword. I'm actually kind of sad to see it go, really. Right, but yeah, this bamboo sword will be considerably tougher. Actually, I'm lying. This isn't the Ferris wheel section. This is kind of a section on its own. We're ignoring these jellyfish. Right. See this moon? This is going to be important later. Remember it. And I don't know if you can hear that, but that's Crow speaking through the uh, Wii Remote speaker. Seto, such a lame name. Try again, loser. And this is also important because, uh, you know, this is um, something we'll have to remember for later. How Crow talks. Okay, I'll go in first person. A key? It's like a roller coaster. Yes, we might as well take that. This is actually one of the areas I can remember actually being quite scared of. It was when I was walking through here. It, it may have been different to this, but I just remember walking through here. Crow's voice was faintly heard. Then all of a sudden, like, you see that over there. And I was like, oh god, what is that? And I actually kind of jumped a wee bit. It was quite frightening. So yeah, if we go through there, it'll take us back to the beginning section, but if we go up here, it'll take us to the ferris wheel. There's little maps around here that you can just look at, but you don't get a full graphic image of it or nothing. And mere, mere dogs to kill. Ah, there's Crow's voice again. Ah, this was the bit, actually. Check it out. You see that? Tell me that. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry, I'm sick. Oh, shut up, the new crow. Okay, tell me that's not scary, okay? Tell me that wasn't fucking terrifying to look at. Oh, yeah, these birds hurt you, and they're the most. They are just as annoying here as they are in any other game, really. There's a big robot. So I prefer to get away from them as far away as possible. They're just stupid. I, they're annoying to kill and I don't like them. And what do we have here? I think you gotta crawl to get this, yeah. 
This is like one out of two reasons why you would ever crawl in the game ever, I think. Can't even get out the other way, can you? Go away, birds. Okay. I saw an item over here, and it's mine now. Right. Now, Crow's still in this area, and we just have to find Blake, because uh, he does that in all the areas before you actually... Um, well, you'll see in a minute. We just gotta find out where he's written something down. And I believe it's over here by the Ferris wheel. I want to soar. Okay, that wasn't what we're looking for, but it was written by Crow. Big wheel. Hmm, damn it, where is this we're looking for? See, I really don't know how audible this um, crow's voice is through the Wii remote. Maybe I really should have turned it off in that options menu that I just discovered. Aha, there it is. Lame brain? Well, I never. We'll see just whose brain is lamer once a shocking truth about you is revealed. Um, right, now onto the last area. Well, it's not really the last area of the carnival, but it's the last area where you have to find um, Crow's text. And you go into a sort of a ultimate area, if you will. Right, I really like this area, actually, you know, the kind of neglected a uh, grassy field of the carnival. Come here, Doug. Oh. Mine? Hehe. <laughs> right, and oh, I see his writing already. Oh Jesus, it's those things again, isn't it? I don't care. I don't care if you're coming. Right, now that we've examined all those texts, I'm not fighting those things, I hate them. <laughs> so much. Oh, can't carry any more items. Right, I don't know if we can go this way yet. I can't go yet. Not before I get my locket back from Crow. Yeah, he's we go in there eventually, but I think that yeah, that's the exit, I think. You know, I told myself <coughs> Stop being sick. I I did tell myself to let uh, to play through this game before uh, LPing it. And I did, you know, but I still kind of suck at it. And that must be an Onyx right there. An Onyx gem thing. Damn blow Bloodhound. Oh shit. Oh fuck. Actually, nah, it's worth it just to run away. My health's too low. I am not getting a game over. I am not getting a single game over throughout this entire Let's Play. If I do, I'm stopping it. 
Ah, there's... There's one last bit of text around here. But not before I do this. I need to regain my health. It's soothing watching the flames. And empty my inventory as well. Huh? Is this? Tuna. I don't like tuna me. And this is a memory which again I'm gonna skip. This is probably And another one. It was a gloomy and then I'm gonna summarize these uh, ones, right? That dog collar belongs to one of those bloodhounds we keep uh, uh, killing. It discusses uh, a friggin' serial killer with red hair that goes around killing them all, the bastard. And this burst balloon, that it's um, it's symbolism for a game developer's attempt to try and uh, bring something new to the table in this industry that's gotten all stagnant, and it kind of failed commercially. I kind of suck at satire, don't I? Right, and class photo. Right, this is the class the photo of a certain Let's Player on YouTube. And he's actually not in the photo at all. He's sitting on the ground because everybody was sitting on him. Because he was that unrespected during his school years. Right, now we need that. Key to old mall, we can put that away. Right, it's tuna. We'll put that away. Right, we could use a... We'll take the other sword out. And... Not bad to have that for a wee bit. Mind you, if this sword lasts any longer than what that stick lasted for, we should be good to the end of the game. Anyway, Crow's text is here. Go by the merry-go-round, eh? Okay. 